Hello. Today I'd like to introduce you to one of the interpretive vehicles in the museum's collection, the R12 snowmobile of 1957. This vehicle is used by the museum team, notably for its winter event, Les Mordus de l'Hiver. During this event, young and old can climb aboard and take a snowmobile ride. It's like stepping back in time. In the late 1940s, sales of B-12 snowmobiles plummeted, mainly due to the progressive clearing of snow from Quebec roads. Joseph Armand Bombardier therefore undertook various research projects to diversify his company's product range and become less dependent on snow. As a result of this research, the inventor developed a system of interchangeable skis and wheels, which he applied to his new TN truck, a sturdy steel truck equally at home in winter and summer, notably for prospecting and logging. This concept will also be applied to the all-new R-Series snowmobile, R for wheel in French, making the vehicle more efficient in difficult terrain and usable in all seasons. This new snowmobile series, more versatile and better adapted to customer needs, will enable the company to continue selling snowmobiles for over three decades. Named R12 and R18, these vehicles are used for civilian, military, and police purposes in many Nordic countries. The snowmobiles in this series are also characterized by their all-steel, all-welded bodywork. Their shape, inspired by that of the B12 snowmobiles, is modified at the front to create space for the wheels. Its pulling power and efficiency have been tried and tested in a wide range of terrain conditions, particularly in the forest. The R12 model is narrow. It's easy to maneuver in tight spaces. This is why it is so widely used in forestry operations. Built for both winter and rough terrain use, R12 snowmobiles are produced by Autoné Bombardier Limité from 1951 to 1962 in 817 units. Vehicles with countless uses, R12 snowmobiles are also used as ambulances, buses, and walking vehicles. In fact, they have long been used in Wyoming's Yellowstone National Park to visit the park and its geysers in winter. Nowadays, the Snow bombardiers, as they're called, are still used by some Métis communities in Manitoba for commercial winter fishing. Some owners will even fit them with stoves for heating or extra roof racks for transporting equipment. Joseph Armand Bombardier's legacy is still very much alive, even more than 50 years after his death. That's all for this capsule on the R12 snowmobile of 1957. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook so you don't miss out on any other videos. And above all, come and see us at the museum to ask your questions.